welcome back to our channel. I'm Christina. I'm Jose. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get our post notifications. And if you're not, welcome back. So we haven't made a video in like a long, long time. Right now, um, I'm on my way to get a COVID test because that's why we have our mask on in the car. For like the past two days, I've been sick. Um, I have not been feeling well. Like the first day, I was just like really tired and um, like my body was hurting. I was feeling lightheaded. The second day, I was like, my head was, I was in so much pain. Like I was on, I was taking like Mucinex or something like all the time. Um, now I feel okay. I just like feel like a little lightheaded and like nauseous. And I don't have like no taste and no smell. So like everything I eat, I literally cannot taste. Like imagine craving something, you ask for it, you get it and it's not fulfilling your craving because you can't taste it. So a lot of people said that like that's a symptom of COVID. So I'm gonna go get tested. I'm just really nervous because I don't want anything to like get passed to the babies or Jose. So I don't know. But the place that I'm going, you get your results in 15 minutes. So we should definitely know soon. Um, what was I gonna say? I googled it. It said they're pretty accurate. So. Yeah. So I'm gonna get the results in 15 minutes. If it is COVID, then I don't know how that works. Like. So ever since the day that I've been feeling sick, sorry guys, I'm recording on my phone because I left my camera at home. But um, if it is COVID, like I don't know how that's gonna work. So for the past two days that I've been feeling sick, I've just been staying in the room by myself and Jose and the girls been like staying either at his mom's house or like in the living room or something. So, I kind of already been quarantining and like whenever I leave the room I make sure I have my mask on and stuff so like I don't know how that's gonna work when like do I quarantine with them like am I allowed to be around them so like if I have it and Jose doesn't he'll just like stay at his mom's with them or something I don't know like I don't know how that's gonna work but if Jose does have it he's been with the girls like the whole time that I've been sick so because Jose said so he's been like sniffling and stuff, so I don't know. Just to be safe, I really hope it's not COVID. And I hope it's just like a sinus infection or something because like, I don't know, like it's really scary. I hope not. Yeah, and like for like the past two days, I've been not being around Kylie and Kyla and they'll like knock on the door, scream my name, tell me they want me. And it makes me so sad. I just don't want to be away from them any longer and I can't imagine being away from them for like a whole two weeks it just makes me want to cry thinking about it so yeah I haven't ate anything today like when I first woke up I wasn't really hungry but now I'm starving I ate cereal before I went to sleep last night because it's kind of like the only thing I can taste I don't know if it's weird the way I'm ex about to explain this like I can taste how sweet something is or how salty something is but i can't taste the flavor if that makes sense so like if you give me like a lollipop i could tell it's a lollipop because i can tell it's sweet but i can't tell what kind of lollipop it is that makes sense oh yeah i never well does that make sense kind of like if you gave me two lollipops like a blue one and a green one mm -hmm. I would know that they're both lollipops, but I can't tell which one is blue and which one is green. Yeah, so that's how I feel. So like, I've been eating cereal because it's sweet, so it kind like I can taste that it's sweet. I don't know, like I really cannot explain it. I really can't explain it. But yeah, so how long? So we have three minutes, three minutes until we get there to um get the COVID test. I'm gonna like try to record like this, see if they say anything. Yeah, I don't, they might not. Oh my god, I got one, um, like, what was it, like a month ago? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like a month ago, and that shit burns. Like, my nose was burning so bad. Oh my god. I hate stuff like this, but, yeah, so I'll see you guys when we get there, and I'll let you know how it goes. 
OMG, so we literally just got here and so on the website it says they're only taking the first 100 people mm -hmm. that come and the line is down the street. But they, but on the website also said if you have symptoms of COVID, which I do, to stay in your car and someone will come out to you and um, give you like your number and then you just continue to wait in your car, obviously, because they don't want you to possibly like infect anyone else. So Jose's trying to call them right now, see what they say, but oh my God, they open at 11. Like we should have got here at 10. Yeah. Like we should have got here at 10. My face is too small for this mask. Hi, how you doing? Um, we're so outside. Yeah. We're um, we want to get the COVID test, but online it said if you have COVID symptoms, don't get out of the car, and you guys will come to us. Yeah, it's a black um Hyundai. Yeah, so. I'll let you know, guys know what they say when they come out. I don't know what number we're going to be. Probably like 50. There's yeah. so many people outside. Oh, my gosh. So somebody just came out and talked to us, and she said that we're about number 75 and 76 in line. And they literally, what time is it? Opened eight minutes ago. So she said that's like about an hour wait. So, like, we could go home and come back if we wanted to. Um, yeah, I'm just hungry. I don't know. This is too much. <sighs> Some guy was standing out here and he got his results and he dropped to the floor. So I hope that was like a happy drop to the floor. That, yeah, he, doesn't have, that he doesn't have COVID. Oh my gosh. Like I'm burning up in this car. I'm freezing. Oh, I'm burning up. So yeah, now we're just waiting for her to come back so we can do the paperwork and then hopefully we'll see how how long this takes. There you go. Thank you. I kept the clipboards, okay? That's okay. So I figured you improvise better. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Maybe that's another one. Alright, so we should. So it's been about an hour since we handed our <sighs> forms in. Um she told us that we could go somewhere come until on. like we could go home or go somewhere. But we went like to the bank, we went to get some McDonald's. Um, yeah, so I still didn't get the text message saying that they're ready for me, but I'm just waiting outside anyway, so that when they're ready, like I'm already here. Don't mind my lashes because they're so bad. And she wear this all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got like four bonnets. <laughs> I always wear bonnets, so so I don't have to do my hair. But I just recently cut my hair, so it's really short, and I'm getting like I don't know. I'm so tired. But like my head started hurting out of nowhere. Like, oh my gosh, I'm over it. <clears throat> But yeah, so it's been an hour. I'll let you guys know when she comes out and I'll see if I can record her doing it. You think she'll care? I don't think so. Yeah. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I just got home um, when we, we were just waiting outside the place and the lady came out and she told us that she was only on number 62, I think, and we're 75 and 76. So she told us to go home and they'll send us a text message. And when we get the text message, just leave our house. And then when we get there, we could get the test. So I'm laying in bed and I'm just about to like try to take a nap. My back hurts so bad from sitting in the car. So I'm going to lay down. I'm going to wait um, until me or Jose get the text and then. We'll go over there. So I will check in with y'all when they call us or text us. Where your finger? No, oh, she's coming. She's coming. She's coming. Hello, uh, Christina. Yeah. All right. How 
are you today? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Have you guys had COVID tests before? Yeah. I have. Well, okay. yeah, we both have. Huh? So I'm going to hand each of you a swab. You're going to insert it into your nostril, going straight up until you feel some pressure. Twirl around five times, then switch and do the other nostril, okay? OMG. You okay you with can, that? We have to do it ourselves. Unless you feel uncomfortable, then I can do it for you if you'd like. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it, right? Okay, I can do it for you. So Does everyone usually do it themselves? For the most part, there's occasionally we get someone um, that doesn't feel comfortable doing it, and that's fine. Yeah, I'd rather you do it. All right, so I'm gonna go once in each nostril. I'm gonna twirl around a little while I'm in there, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are these usually uh, accurate? This one has a 97.5 percent accuracy rate oh if taken within God. the first seven days of symptoms or exposure. Oh, okay. So they're pretty good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you want to do your own top? No, you can do it. Okay. Sorry. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, we'll oh. have results out in 15 minutes, oh, so we'll bring results right out here to the car, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. <coughs> Yo, that burns. Can you give me a tissue? There. The last time I got a COVID test, they only put it on one side. Uh. <laughs> You're crying. Deep my damn nose. <laughs> mm, I wouldn't have did that myself. I would have stopped right there. Exactly. That shit accurate. <laughs> that shit accurate. She touched my brain. <laughs> well, yeah, so we have to wait 15 minutes and then hopefully we should. It's not COVID. Oh my God. I'm nervous. I don't mm. like this. But yeah, so. Pray for us. Hopefully it's not COVID and hopefully we can just go home. I'll take some cold and flu and I'll be normal. Like You're still going to quarantine. Jose, shut up. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so I'll let you guys know when she comes back out with the results. The results. <laughs> We got our results back and I tested positive for COVID. Jose's negative. So I have to quarantine by myself. Um, I have to stay in quarantine until December 22nd alone. So I don't know, I'm just so sad. Like I haven't, I haven't like hugged my babies or seen my babies literally in like three whole days because I had like a feeling that I could have had COVID and like now I'm not gonna be able to see them for even longer. Uh, it's the 15th now, so you got seven, seven yeah. more days. So they said because like, because I have been quarantined since my symptoms first started, it's really good. Um, so I would just have to, 10 days from that date they said so that was the 12th so until mm -hmm, the 22nd so you got seven more days and today is basically halfway through so yeah but still oh my gosh hopefully that like whatever i felt was like the worst part and like hopefully it doesn't get any worse like I, i'm not really sure how this works i don't know anybody that's had covid um yeah, I don't know. I just want to cry, like, so bad. But Jose was negative, so, like, that makes me feel a little bit better because he's been laying with the babies, and every time I, like, use the bathroom and stuff, he's been disinfecting it and everything, but he's just gonna, we're just gonna stay apart until I get better. You don't feel better, so... It sucks. 
so yeah basically that's all for this video like